In this video, we're going to be converting between moles and grams. We'll do one problem where we convert from grams to moles and another problem from moles to grams. This video will assume that you know how to find the molar mass of a substance from the periodic table. We're going to use that to do our conversions here. Now, when we talk about moles and grams, moles refer to how many of something there are. It's kind of like using the word a dozen. If I have four dozen, that means I have 48. If I have four moles, it means I have four times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of the substance. So it's a way to count how many of something that I have. Grams, however, is going to be kind of how much matter the substance has. We often think of that in terms of like weight, the more mass something has, the more it weighs, even though they're technically not the same thing. And we measure mass in grams. So moles, how many particles we have and mass, how much matter is actually there. Let's read our first problem. It says how many moles are in 50 grams of water H2O. So what I'm given is the 50.0 grams and it says how many moles. So this is gonna be a grams to moles conversion. So I'm gonna set up my T chart or conversion chart here. And on the first box there, I'm always gonna write what we know or what information are we kind of starting with in the problem. In this case, the only value that we know is the 50.0 grams of water. We're converting that amount into moles. So what we know, we'll start there with the 50.0 grams of water. And then in the second part of that is always gonna be our conversion factor. In this case, the conversion factor is gonna be the molar mass, which again, we'll find from the periodic table in just a moment. So the 50.0 grams of H2O is what we know. Our conversion factor is the molar mass. So let's look this up on the periodic table. Um, 16 is the molar mass of oxygen, 1.01 for hydrogen, and we have two of those. So when I add those all together, I get a total molar mass of water, which is 18.02 grams per mole. Now over here on my first part of this, I have 50.0 grams of water on the top. So I'm gonna need grams of water on the bottom so that grams divided by grams will cancel out or, or divide into one. And for my molar mass, the grams always stays with the number that I have. So it's really 18.02 grams per one mole. So I'm gonna start with 18.02 grams on the bottom or the denominator of this fraction in my conversion factor. And then I'm gonna put one mole on the top because again, this is 18.02 grams of water for every one mole of water. And what that does is it means that the grams of water will divide out into one with the grams of water on the bottom. And I'm left with moles of water, which is what I want. That's what I'm trying to convert to. So I get 2.77469 moles of water in the calculator. And I get to keep three sig figs when I report out my answer because that's the fewest number of sig figs that I have um, in the problem. So I'm gonna have 2.77 moles of water. So in other words, if I have 50 grams of water, that's 2.77 moles of water. Let's take a look at our second problem. It says, what is the mass of 1.80 moles of sodium chloride or table salt? So I know the 1.80 moles and I'm trying to convert to mass. This is what is the mass? So I'm gonna set up my conversion table there. I'm gonna start with what I know, just like we did in the other problem. And what I know is the 1.80 moles of sodium chloride. And then I'm gonna use my conversion factor. And again, I need the molar mass because I'm converting between moles and mass. So I'm gonna look up the molar mass of sodium and chloride and add those together. When I add those two together, I get 58.44 grams per mole. And in this case, because I have moles on the left here, I'm gonna need moles on the bottom. So I'm gonna write one mole on the bottom so that moles of sodium chloride and moles of sodium chloride will divide out. And the 58.44 is gonna go in the numerator or top of my conversion factor fraction. The moles will cancel out and I get 105.1920 grams of sodium chloride. Fewest number of sig figs I have in the problem is three, one, two, three. So I get to report out 105 grams of sodium chloride. So if in an experiment I needed 1.80 moles of sodium chloride, I would measure out 105 grams and then I would know that I have that number of moles of sodium chloride. So that's how we use molar mass to convert between moles and grams of a substance.